Just like every game of basketball that begins and ends, every life faces a timeline too. But not every person has been reminded of that truth in the same way as NSU coach Don Meyer. I wake up in the morning, maybe 4 o'clock, 3.45, and I lay there for about three or four minutes and think about how lucky I am to wake up. His car accident almost a year and a half ago left him hospitalized for two months. While operating on him, doctors found carcinoid cancer and his treatment options are limited. They say the best way to treat carcinoid cancer is to remove it. Despite being a slow growing cancer, Myers was too far along by the time doctors found it. Rather than removing the cancer, doctors can only treat the symptoms. And then you just keep praying that it does in fact grow very slowly. And people can live many, many years with carcinoid cancer. To his regular basketball coaching routine, Meyer has added monthly shots and daily meds, something his wife Carmen makes sure he takes. He also has a CAT scan along with other tests every three months to monitor his condition. My wife knows everything about everything, but I don't know much about anything, so I try not to think about that much. I just do it. He, uh, the doctor tells me, and then especially what she tells me. Meyer's cancer has grown since he was first diagnosed with it, just before the start of last basketball season, but it's been slow. Still, the cancer and his accident have affected the way he lives. I just think you express yourself more after you've been through that, and you say things rather than holding back, because you feel like maybe you might not have as many years to to say things, so you, you try to say it to people and let them know how you feel. Carmen says she has noticed those changes in her husband. He still devotes a lot of time to his basketball team, but he spends more time with family now. It's made enough of a difference for Carmen to call the struggles a blessing. Yes, definitely. Definitely say it's still a blessing. It's been really nice for the two of us, for our relationship. Uh, it's been nice for our children, too. But it's added challenges to his coaching. Meyer doesn't have the same energy and can't demonstrate what he teaches like he once did. I couldn't jump before I got hurt, but I really can't jump now. But Meyer says he wouldn't trade the lessons he's learned than those he wants others to take from his experience for any of that jump back. He had a faith in God before the accident and cancer. He's come to rely on and seek him more since. You need help every day. And, you, and, and that's the lesson I've learned. And it's really the biggest lesson and the most important lesson. And that's the only lesson that's going to give people peace. This basketball game will come to an end. Countless others will too. It could be years before Don Meyer's time on this earth does the same. But with enough of a reminder over this past year and a half that the day will come, Meyer plans to do more than wait for it. You know, I think you get ready for the end by being ready every day to do what you have to do. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Eric Schaffa.